welcome to Adventures with a Very Small Lathe. I haven't uploaded much recently because I've been travelling a lot for work, but one thing that has made me look forward to being home has been the chance to properly open and unpack this package. This was sent to me by John, who has a YouTube channel called Through the Bulkhead. He was one of the winners of my 1000 subscribers competition with his idea to make a single point lubrication system for the lathe. His channel has exactly the same logo as these stickers he sent me along with this brown and sharp tap drill chart. In his most recent video John mentions that he lives near to brown and sharp's original Rhode Island location and he has some cool equipment from the factory. Check out the channel to find more, he's just starting out on YouTube and needs some more subscribers. In return for the prize for my competition he offered to send me some bits and pieces he thought would be help in my shop and I gratefully accepted. This first item is an indicator arm for clocking the inner diameter of parts. The ball on the end rests against the diameter to be indicated and the arm translates any motion to the plunger of a normal dial indicator. I know about these from watching Adam Booth use them on his channel. If you somehow missed Adam's channel, check it out via the link at the top right now. I've put it together the wrong way round here for regular use on a lathe, but hopefully it should be clear how it works. I've wanted one of these for a while, so this is a great addition to my toolbox. The next bundle contains a selection of sitting saws and a horizontal milling cutter. I've never used one of these before, so it'll be interesting to try out. This style of cutter is usually associated with horizontal mills, but it should be perfectly possible to use in a vertical mill with the right arbor. This litting saw has a maker's stamp from Rhode Island, so is another piece with a connection to John's home area. This bundle contains what look like tool and cutter blanks to grind custom tooling. They're shiny and too hard to mark with a file, so it could be tungsten carbide. I'll double check what they are before I try to use them. This is a 3 16th end mill from Niagara. It has a part number on, so I should be able to look up the cutting speed data and make sure I use it correctly. Next is an Imperial thread gauge from Starrett. This is a good quality tool in great condition that will be really useful for my volunteer work. This bundle contains two things that appear to be entirely unrelated. The first is a length of pinion wire. This is stock used to quickly and easily make pinions, which is the proper name for gears with small numbers of teeth. It's made by drawing wire through a die, so the tooth form isn't as precise as a machine pinion, but they're fine for a lot of purposes. I've wanted to try my hand at gear cutting for a while, and this gives me a nice shortcut to get started. The other tool is a pin vise. These are used to hold very small parts securely and are always useful to have around.
Mixed together here are three very different things. The first thing to stand out was this tiny scale or ruler. It's only 4 inches long and very narrow, but that makes it perfect for getting into small holes and pockets. The three needle files are Nicholson branded and all marked extra fine. This bundle of fine metal strands with rough edges took me a short while to work out. They're blades for a jeweler's piercing saw, which are very useful for fine horology work. The teeth are fine enough that I can only see them under a magnifier. I'm honestly not sure what this is for, but it's a lovely piece of handmade blacksmith work. If you have any ideas or suggestions what it is, please let me know in the comments. I really like the twist work in the middle here. Finally, a set of tiny drill bits in their original case. The diameters are from 39 thousandths down to 21 thousandths, all less than a millimetre. Probably the coolest thing about the package is that it came escorted by a new assistant for my shop. This little figure will be a great companion for my minifigures during project making, and may motivate them to make an entry for Emma's Spare Room Machine Shop tool making competition again this year. Thank you so much John for this package. Every single thing you sent me will be useful and they are all very much appreciated. My next project making video is coming any day now, so stay tuned for some proper tool making footage.